you want to have a great Thanksgiving this year, take politics off the table and put the giving of thanks on it. Put rejoicing in the Lord on it. Put thinking about what has come before and the blessings that have been bestowed by God on this nation and on yourself personally. And you know what else? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, after this video today, I'm doing an internet fast through the holidays. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to do it because the time that it's going to free up is going to be, I think, amazing. I want to share with you a little bit of American history here and just talk to you about some things you may not have known. I didn't know this. On the top of the tallest building in our nation's capital, the 555-foot Washington Monument, is a four-sided aluminum capstone inscribed with the Latin words, Laos Deo, which means, praise be to God. Two seemingly unnoticed words out of sight that significantly express a nation's simple praise to God and are placed at the highest point over what is the most powerful city in the world. This from the Founder's Bible. We are at the next step in this country of what God wants us to do for our country. And what he wants us to do for our country now is obey him, humble ourselves to the point that we obey him. There's no more pride in thinking that we're going to disobey God, do it our way, and get a good result. We're going to repent of that. So the next step is you pray for your enemies, you pray for your leaders, you forgive all, and you speak and declare the word of God over everything. You pray in faith for the healing of this nation. And you don't turn around after you pray for a leader and talk about how much you hate them. And I've said this in videos before, but it bears repeating because people aren't getting it. The other thing you, you know is God doesn't need a majority of your party in the House or the Senate or anywhere else. He can cause people to cross over and vote life and he can, he can do whatever he wants, but he works through the prayer of faith. And you will not have faith. You will not pray in faith, first of all, if you don't know what the word says. But secondly, if you have been taught by religious people who don't know Jesus, that God is your enemy, basically, and he kind of has good days and bad days, and he's punishing us, the blood of Jesus covers all. So you accept that. You let Jesus be the Lord of your life. And so then you obey God, and things begin to go much, much better. So that's where we are at that place that he promises if we would repent of our sins, not the politician's sins, and humble ourselves to obedience, he will heal our land. And so that's where we are right now. We are at that place of obeying him to do it the way he says to do it. And I'm going to suggest you put all politics aside again put it aside for thanksgiving and just give thanks and give thanks throughout the holiday and rejoice and rejoice because he's got this all right god's got this but he works through us he works through the prayers of the saints and our prayers are of no effect when they're backed up with fear and they're permeated with hatred See, love and love, perfect love casts out fear. So we're called to a time of perfect love. And what time could be better than Thanksgiving and Christmas? I wish you a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. And may God bless your home as you take your place as a warrior on behalf of the Most High God. Thank you.